Hi guys, Horse Trader here. Today we're going to look at some advanced filtering functionality and how we can use this with the list market catalog endpoint. So what we're going to look for is getting a list of market IDs for a select number of filters that we apply. So we're going to use these six filters here. So first off, we're going to go ahead and load our session ID and our headers and log in through the API as seen in all the previous episodes. So this is our user request we're going to send to the chosen endpoint. So we're going to have a number of filters as I just mentioned. We're going to have event type ID which we've seen in a previous video. That's for example one represents football, seven represents horse racing etc. We have market countries. This is what countries are the markets are going to be from. For example Australian horse racing or English football uh, games, etc. We have market type code. This was in my most previous video. This talks about, uh, say, win bets or place bets or tournament winner, etc. And then we can also go for our time slices. So we can say we want to look at all the markets from, say, now to the next 22 hours, the next 11 hours, etc. We're going to then sort our results from first to start. So that means the most. Um, imminent market is going to be listed first. We can also specify the maximum results. So we want to we want to return maximum 500 market IDs or we want to return maximum 1000. So for our example here, we're going to have uh, horse racing by using 7. And note from the last video, since we have these uh, square brackets, we can enter multiple um, event types or multiple items to filter by. Country code Australia. Uh, market type code is win, so we're going to be looking for markets that are horse racing and wins in Australia. Then our market start time, we're using the daytime library, daytime.daytime.now, and we want to put the string in this format, which the API accepts. And then here I've done the same thing, but I've added a time delta. So I'm saying get now plus 12 hours. So our start time is now, our end time is going to be 12 hours from now. Again, we're loading that into the proper string format. And max results is a thousand. Note, the API will only accept a thousand maximum. So here I've just put together the string and it's going to concatenate and interpolate uh, the variables. And then we've just gone ahead and done the same request uh, post as before, except I'm using the URL lib um, library now. But it's essentially the same thing, just um, a bit of the technicalities are different. So we're going to go ahead and do our post request. So the return object is a stored in market catalog and then result. So we can see we have 116 um, markets returned from this set of filters. We'll go ahead and have a look at some of them. So these are what we're actually returning out the market IDs. Market name, total match, so they're returning the volume, um, the amount of money bets on it essentially. Now note, with horse racing, the market name where it has, for example, race 1, 1740, etc. This actually represents a win bet, as in your selected runner will have to come first. Whereas when it has to be placed, this represents a place bet, as in your chosen runner must come first, second or third. It's important to note that, because even though it says win for market type code, this is actually referring to a place bet. So we're going to go ahead here and uh, we'll add another country, we'll, we'll add New Zealand into the mix here. We'll repost that and then we should see a, a increase in the amount of markets. Yep, that's exactly what we would expect. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. So we've seen here some more advanced functionality and some more complex filtering. So in my next video, I'm going to look into how we can uh, explore these market IDs, look at the runners in there, and then how we can actually place bets on these races. So that's, I think, what most of you are here for. So in the next two to three videos, we're going to get into the nitty gritty of how to do that. Thanks for watching. Please share, like, subscribe, and comment with what other content you would like me to cover.